Donald Trump's favorite channel Fox News has experienced a year-on-year -year drop in advertising revenue, while CNN and The New York Times continued to grow despite the president attacking them as fake news and failing. Despite the president constantly tweeting his love of Fox News, the right-wing, unashamedly pro-Trump network suffered a 2% drop in advertising revenue for the third quarter of 2017 compared to the same period last year, analyst Standard Media Index SMI have revealed. By contrast, CNN, repeatedly branded fake news by Mr. Trump, saw its third quarter ad revenues grow by 9% year-on-year. CNN advert attacks Trump over fake news on the day after Mr. Trump told his 43.5 meters Twitter followers that MSNBC had terrible ratings. SMI's National TV Index report showed the network's third quarter ad revenues had grown year on year by an impressive 22%. Meanwhile, The New York Times, the newspaper Mr. Trump calls failing and enemy of the people, has announced it is gaining 100,000 subscribers a quarter, up from the pre-election growth rate of 23,000,000 new subscribers a quarter. The newspaper's chief executive, Mark Thompson, told Marketing Week that subscriptions were building very nicely on the back of Mr. Trump's outbursts. The good news is that the ratings are terrible, nobody cares HTTPS tcoy 7 h 4 ryan 3 h Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump November 27, 2017 UK media commentator Alice Enders, head of research at Enders Analysis, told The Independent, these figures suggest the so-called Trump bump is helping the media he attacks more than Fox News. She explained that most media, whether leaning to the left or right, had grown thanks to the massive appetite for news generated by the 2016 election and Mr. Trump's hectic, drama-filled presidency. But Ms. Enders said the Fox figures, the first year-on-year -year decrease in one of the big three U.S. cable news networks since the 2016 election, might mean that the media outlets Mr. Trump attacks are the ones benefiting the most. We should have a contest as to which of the networks, plus CNN and not including Fox, is the most dishonest, corrupt and or distorted in its political coverage of your favorite president me. They are all bad. Winner to receive the fake news trophy, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump November 27, 2017 One potential reason for this, said Ms. Enders, was that in launching constant attacks on the fake news media, Mr. Trump is also giving an awful lot of free publicity to CNN. He's effectively advertising CNN to people who don't like Trump, and let's not forget his approval ratings are incredibly low and have been declining. In turn, the appeal of these news channels to advertisers is driven first and foremost by the size of their audiences. Ms. Enders added that the subscription growth of the New York Times suggested Mr. Trump's attacks were providing a similar boost for the newspaper. Part of that growth, said Ms. Enders, is people saying, Donald Trump hates the New York Times therefore I like the New York Times. The fake news media failing at NY Times, at NBC News, at ABC, at CBS, at CNN is not my enemy, it is the enemy of the American people, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump February 17, 2017 Ben Fenton, the former chief media correspondent of the Financial Times who runs a media consultancy at global communications firm Edelman, added, There is a sense in the U.S. that Trump's support is retreating to a very hard core, which would be supported by those statistics. Mr. Fenton said a single year-on-year -year fall did not necessarily signify a general trend towards an overall decline in Fox News advertising revenue, and both commentators said that the comparison between the third quarters of 2017 and 2016 would be a particularly tough one for the network. His enders said this was because it was a comparison between 2017 and what was likely to have been a boom period for Fox News, which probably drew in more political advertising than its less overtly partisan rivals during the 2016 election. She said, it is very possible that politically motivated advertising as the election campaign intensified would have been much more attracted to Fox News than CNN, which is actually not viewed as a Democrat mouthpiece. It remains to be seen whether Mr. Trump will redouble his support for Fox News in the light of the news statistics. It is also not entirely clear how he could be more supportive of the network, and Fox News is much more important in the United States than CNN, but outside of the U.S., CNN International is still a major source of fake news, and they represent our nation to the world very poorly. The outside world does not see the truth from them. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump November 25, 2017 It's not CNN's job to represent the U.S. to the world. That's yours. Our job is to report the news. Facts First Red Apple, CNN Communications at CNN PR November 25, 2017 Mr. Trump has already been called the first fan for Fox News, and commentators have repeatedly raised fears that the president goes as far as taking his policy lines directly from what he sees on the network. 
In January, for example, he tweeted that Chelsea Manning was an ungrateful traitor, just 16 minutes after Fox Friends called the former soldier an ungrateful traitor. When the New York Times said that this kind of influence made Fox Friends the most powerful TV show in America, Mr. Trump's response was to tweet, without any apparent irony, wow, the failing at NY Times said it about at Fox and Friends, thought the most powerful TV show in America, wow, the failing at NY Times said about at Fox and Friends, thought the most powerful TV show in America, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump July 27, 2017 Throughout this year, though, Fox News has been embroiled in a series of controversies that have seen advertisers desert the network. The first advertiser exodus came in April when Fox News host Bill O'Reilly faced claims he and the channel had paid $13 million, 9.72 million pounds in settlements, in response to allegations of UAL harassment. The host denied the allegations but by the time he was fired, more than 60 advertisers had reportedly pulled out of his show The O'Reilly Factor, then the most popular program on Fox News. In May at least five firms were said to have pulled their adverts from the Sean Hannity show after the host repeated a debunked conspiracy theory that Seth Rich, a Democratic National Committee worker, was murdered because of his links to WikiLeaks. Police in fact suspect that Mr. Rich was shot dead in a botched robbery. Fox News is still thought to command the highest advertising rights for programs hosted by its stars compared to the other networks. SMI figures suggest that immediately after succeeding the sack, Mr. O'Reilly, Tucker Carlson averaged $14,100 per 30-second ad slot for his Fox News show, compared to $4,500 for MSNBC's Rachel Meadow show, but the bad news may not be over for Fox News. This month there have been reports of companies pulling adverts from the Sean Hannity show after he questioned the motives of the four women who accused Republican Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore of propositioning them when they were teenagers. The withdrawal of advertising in May and November is thought to have been the result of lobbying by the left-leaning advocacy group Media Matters for America, which shows no sign of lessening its scrutiny of Fox News. Despite SMI statistics being cited in numerous news reports, a Fox News spokesperson criticized the source of the new figures by claiming, SMI is not a published source nor is it recognized by the industry. The spokesperson added that as of September this year, Fox News had spent 63 consecutive quarters as the most at cable news network with the highest total of viewers. Suggesting media matters were being unfair in their campaign against Hannity, the Fox News spokesperson claimed this intimidation effort is nothing more than political opportunism. Sean Hannity hosts the number one program in cable news. Because millions of Americans make the decision to join them every night, and the audience relationship is stronger than ever. More about Donald Trump Fox News CNN New York Times Fake News Reuse Content